Uh, Shigo and Chris here, and we're talking about the timetable. It actually starts next Monday on the 13th, and we want to make sure that you're very clear as to why we've done it, right? how it all works, and who should be involved in this new timetable and when. Now, the timetable that starts on Monday has been well constructed over a long period of time. The whole idea of the timetable is to start putting all the students in the three basic groups, right? Beginners groups, intermediate, right, and advanced. Now the reasoning for that is that it's very difficult at times for the instructor to be able to teach 15 different levels on the floor. That is five different colours at three different levels of stripes. We've been noticing this over this last year, right, that as the numbers increase, it gets harder for them. So what we've done is that we've added the white and yellow sash together and they are now beginners. Now for the children, they'll be starting at 4.30 in the afternoon. So now if your child is a yellow sash, they will need to start at 4.30 in the afternoon. You'll also notice uh, on the timetable that the next level, the intermediate, used to be at 5.15, now it's at 5.30. Now the reason that we changed that is because uh, it was difficult, again, because we had a storm doing the warm-up. It wasn't a registered martial arts instructor. Uh, that problem was that we want to have the instructors working with the students, even in their fitness stages, just so we can improve the quality of what we're teaching them. Nothing wrong with the storm. If one of your children is a storm, we're not picking on them in any way, shape or form. But I think it's better for the parents to actually have uh, the instructor on the floor right from the beginning. So the instructor will be doing a 4.30 class, they'll finish at 5.30. He'll walk over to the 5.30 class and bring them onto the floor at 5.30. So there will be an instructor and a storm working with that group right from the beginning. So therefore, let's recap, right? For the kids, we have the beginners class at 4.30. That will be white sash and that will be yellow sash, right? Then at the 5.30 class will be intermediate. No yellow sash in the intermediate, right? It is orange and above. So orange and green are the ones we're going to concentrate on. Um, blue sash are on Monday and on Thursday. They start at 6 o'clock on the Monday and 5.30 on the Thursday. Now this is blue sash and above, blue, brown, black, black, brown, and even up to black sash. So these are classed as being our advanced. So first up, 4.30 will be our beginners. At 5.30 will be our intermediate, right? And at, uh, our advanced classes will be at as I said, uh, 5.30 and the other one is at 6 o'clock. All right, just so we know. Now, as far as Storm is concerned, well, they still have a Thursday night class. They still have the Saturday class, but the Saturday class is a little bit earlier. All right, so that actually kicks off. So we can finish our routine all right, uh, on the Saturday by 1 o'clock instead of 2 o'clock. So that actually happens at 12 o'clock. Now, who's expected in Storm? All blue sash and above. So if you are, or your child is a blue sash or above, we want them in the storm class. This is a leadership-based class. Now you also notice on the timetable, there are some other classes that have never been done before on our timetable. Uh, some of the fitness classes, they happen early in the morning at this stage. There may be a later one at some stage, right? But we'll see how popular it is first. Now they'll be starting on the 28th of February. All right, so that is uh, on a Tuesday and a Thursday, a fitness class. All right, and on the Wednesday, there'll be an early morning Qigong class. Now, we've been asked about this many, many times, and we've decided that we're going to do it uh, and make sure that at seven o'clock in the morning, uh, we have a Qigong class, giving you enough time to get off to work. Now, as you know, with Qigong, it's not hot and sweaty, so it does give you a good opportunity to do so. The normal Qigong classes are still on. Uh, except for their 5.30 instead of 5.15, which is on the Monday. The 6.30 is still on on the Tuesday, all right? And on the Friday, it's still 10.30. On the Saturday, it's still 10.45, all right? So nothing much has changed there. The biggest change in the timetable is simply our opportunity to put our instructors in front of the students more often and with better quality. Now, you do know that we've got a curriculum the timetable snubs into the curriculum beautifully. So I will be explaining the curriculum to you. That will actually start kicking off on the 3rd, I think it is, of March, but we'll certainly give you the dates, the times, etc. Now, 
also, just so you know, the whole idea of this timetable is not to inconvenience anybody. It is really to be able to give a better quality of teaching to the students of the school. Now, I haven't spoken about falcons and adults as yet, right? So I'll give some clarity on that one. All right, for a start, falcons and adults classes will still be run pretty much across the week, except for one day, and that one day will be Thursday. All right, so the uh, normal 4.30 class, that'll be on Monday and Thursday, the normal 5.15 will now be 5.30, and that is on Tuesday. So it's only a change of 15 minutes there. The nighttime classes will be starting right earlier at 7 p.m. Now the reasoning behind this is that we want to have a two-hour class. And that two-hour class allows us to have the beginners on the floor, which are the white and yellow sashes, with all the other students for the first hour. They can train together. Right? The higher level students can raise the quality of the lower level students in that first hour. The first uh, group then, the beginners, they leave halfway through at 8 o'clock. Right? Then the higher students stay and they'll have a solid hour where we can push them a little bit harder, get their fitness and flexibility up to their standards, not the standards of beginners, right? and really be able to concentrate on them as instructors right through to 9 o'clock. So literally we've gone back in history, back in the days when we've gone back to a two hour class where the beginners literally and all the advanced work together, right? then the beginners go home. So remember that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but not Thursday, Friday and on Saturday. Here comes a small change. We are still going to have the 9.30, oh, sorry, the 9 a.m. class to 10.30 a.m. class, but the 11.30 class will be no more. There were so few students on that class Right, and I believe uh, after speaking to the students, we can bring those people back into the nine o'clock. Right, get them up bright and early, get their Saturdays working. It's a wonderful class when we have so many good numbers in it. Now remember, nine o'clock to 10.30 on the Saturday, no 11.30 class. Now this will actually start, this particular timetable starts next Monday on the 13th. Now we add to that also, uh, what we would normally do on a Sunday in cycles of every six weeks, would be the personal safety, what we call now stay safe kids, stay safe adults. Now that's part of the white to yellow curriculum. They have to do it. There is no doubts about it. But what we found on Sundays is more family time, there's church time, there's a lot of things that will preclude students from doing it easily. So what we've done is we've absorbed that into our normal week. So on a Wednesday, right, at a normal uh, class time of 4.30, on a Wednesday, normal class time, we'll be doing the stay safe kids for the kids who need to have this for their white yellow sash. Right? Then on the Thursday, at a normal class time uh, at 7 p.m., uh, we are going to then run the adults version uh, and the Falcons version of the stay safe. So just so you know that this timetable's not here to hurt you or inconvenience you. At this point, we've had very little feedback. We have given uh, quite a bit of data. We had the AGM. I also put that up on YouTube. Now, if there are some issues, if there's some real issues that you cannot get to these classes or you misunderstand it in any way, I'm as easy to find as you can possibly imagine. My email is chriscoles at sydney-selfdefence.com.au. Talk to me, all right, and I will see what I can do. I can tell you now it's pretty much set in concrete because it's kicking off on Monday, but if anybody is highly inconvenienced by this, all you need to do is talk to me and let's see what we can arrange. All right, so thank you. That's the timetable. My very next video will be all about curriculum and that won't be too far away. So thank you very much.